Welcome back to your favorite daily devotional program, The Rhapsody of Realities, and we are coming to you from Zambia. Pastor Mwape, we were just looking at this special topic, His Living Word, and Amen. shortly before we took that break, we were looking at special thoughts. Yes, we were, and we were distinguishing the difference between doing the Word of God and obeying and the obeying Word. And obeying the Word. And that's so significant. It's very, very significant, you know, because, you see, the, the life of the Christian is not a life of obeying rules. Uh -huh. It is a life of living the Word. Yes. It's a life of acting the Word. Yes. You know, even the potency of our faith is not in obeying do's and don'ts. Mm. Our faith is given power by our actions. Yes. It says without, your faith is void of power. It is, it, it, it is dead without works. Amen. You know, and our actions is what this is trying to talk to us about. We are His living Word. What does, I mean, like I give an example, what rules does um, uh, uh, a camel need to obey in order for it to live the camel life? No it just rules. acts the camel life. Amen. So when you study the scriptures and understand the Christian life, the Christian life is about you acting the word of God because God has made you his living word. Amen. You are his letter to the world. Yes. And you see, unless we appreciate this particular aspect, a lot of things that a number of Christians may be doing are in vain because a lot are trying to obey the word of God. I'll give you for example, the Bible says in all these things, or rather do not be anxious for anything, but in all things make your request known unto God. You see, when you hear that scripture, it's a scripture that you act on. Yes. You make that request known unto God. And the Bible says the peace of God will guard your heart. It's not a rule to obey. Mm. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Of the Christian is about acting the word and not necessarily obeying the word. Amen. Wow. And you know this lifestyle is based on a consciousness that has been seasoned as we meditate on the word of God. Yes. You know, and that's why it's so important that as you have been watching this daily devotional, yes. you stay tuned and you watch every episode and you also watch other materials that are going to be uh, shown to you, uh, including the various segments of the program. You know, Pastor Mwapi, to just comment a little further on this, I'll give you an example. A baby born of a human being is naturally expected to live out the human life yes. because it is born of the human life as it's, it's born of the human seed. We just saw earlier on, according to 1 Peter chapter 1, 23, that we were born of the incorruptible seed of the, the word. word. That means that's the genetical system that we are carrying. Amen. That's, that's, that's our makeup. We are word in nature. Hallelujah. And so the same way it is natural for a human baby to live out the human life, it is natural for us to live the word life. Amen. Because we are the word expressed. We were born of the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And pastor amplifies that thought further in our devotional today. Wow. As he says, a dog will of necessity give birth to, to a, a dog. dog. Wow. A human being will give birth to another human. Wow. In the same vein, the word of God will only give birth to, to the, the word. word. Hallelujah. And so if you are born again, <laughs> you have been given birth to by the word of God. And so you are the word of God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Amazing. So you see, you are the offspring of the word. Praise God. You are God. the expression of his life. Amazing. Wow, that is so beautiful. Wow. Pastor continues to say to us, you are his living message to the world. Praise his God. His living word to the world blessed thought blessed thought indeed pastor Mwapi, to know that i am his living word to the world Amen. can you imagine if the world doesn't know peace my appearance is the appearance of peace amen if the world doesn't know love my appearance is the intrusion of love in my environment. Amen. You know, th that's what it is. Yes. And you know, except everyone understands. You know, how do you obey such things? Those <laughs> are not things to, to obey. Those are things to manifest. Yes. Because it is, it is right in the fabric of your character Praise as a God. child of God. Amen. You are his living word. Yes. You know, and, and except many Christians understand this, then it means, you see, when a Christian understands this, you stop trying to go out there to obey rules in order to get certain things done from God. But you go there to happen, Amen. like Pastor Chris says. Hallelujah. Because you are the word of God going out there to happen. Praise God. Amazing. Amazing Praise indeed. God. And you know, we'll go on and see what else. This, this is just so loaded. And I hope you are already getting your spirit stirred up 
and ready to act because we are calling on you today to understand according to the message Pastor Chris has brought us that you are his living word. If this world, for example, in this year of favor, if the world doesn't know what favor is, they will see it manifest in your life because you are that favor that God talked about at the beginning of the year. Amen. Praise God. Pastor Chris goes on to say, in John 12 verse 24, the Lord Jesus said, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Jesus was referring to himself here. Wow. He was the word of God made flesh, and God gave him to die and come up with a harvest of what was sown, the, the word. word. Amazing. Hallelujah. And you know that harvest? <laughs> is you and me and every believer all across the world. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are the offspring of, of the word. Wow. You are the word made flesh today. Hallelujah. No wonder the scripture says that as Jesus is, so, so are, are we, we in the world God. today. Amen. To his name. You're the expression of his will in the earth. Wow. This is the real Christian life. It's the daily expression of, of the, the word. word. Wow. Amazing, Pastor Mape. This is so, so, so amazing. You know, just to think that, you know, like we were saying earlier, when you set out to plant corn, you harvest corn. Yes. You set out to plant wheat, you harvest wheat. Pastor has shown us here, God set out to sow the word. And what did he harvest? The, the word. word. Amen. Amazing. Hallelujah. And I'm sure everyone out there, you are ready to take the prayer for the day. And we are so excited. And we'll take the prayer now for the day. Everyone say, I am born of the word. I am born of the word. Therefore. Therefore. My life is the life of the word. My life is the life of the word. I am the manifestation and expression of divinity. I am the manifestation and expression of divinity. I go forth today. I go forth today. Conscious of my identity. Conscious of my identity. As an offspring of the word. As an offspring of the word. With the incorruptible life. God. With the incorruptible life of God in my spirit. In my spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen indeed. Praise Wonderful. the Lord. Wow. And from our further study, we have John 10, verse 34 to 36, which says, Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods. If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. Shall ye say of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said I am the Son of God? Oh, and our further scripture also is First John chapter 3, verse 2. And it says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that we, when, we, when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pastor Mape, we've had such a beautiful time sharing the word of God today. Yes, indeed we have, knowing that we are his living word. His living word. Absolutely glorious, coming to you from Zambia. And you know, as you join us on this special program, you will see various segments of uh, the Rhapsody of Realities and the impact that it's having all around the world. You're going to see our praise report segment. You're also going to see our UCAS comments. And also you will see our Rhapsody mandate segment and many, many more. Just stay tuned. Amazing. Now, amazing indeed. And what do we have on our extra segment today? Well, today we have praise reports. Stay tuned and be blessed by what you see. Through your favorite devotional program this month of April, you'll be inspired to take action. You have planned. You've set the targets for the year of favor. Now put action to your word as you join us every day this month of April. Don't miss a single day. A great tool for soul winning. I once boarded a cab and the Holy Spirit instructed me to give the driver a copy of Rhapsody of Realities. I struck a conversation with him and discovered he was a Muslim. 
immediately. I shared some articles from the devotional with him, and he accepted to receive Christ as the Lord of his life. I then gave him a free copy of Rhapsody of Reality's devotional for his personal edification. I'm most grateful to the Holy Spirit for his promptings and to Pastor Chris and Pastor Anita for giving me a great tool for soul winning. Tetia G. Yana. God's Word healed me. I was involved in a ghastly accident that terribly affected my spine. While at the hospital, the doctors confirmed I'd never be able to walk again. Rhapsody of Realities was the only book I had with me at the hospital, and I read it voraciously. Praise God. Now I can walk perfectly without any aid, and I've been discharged from the hospital. Charity M. Zimbabwe. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome back. An amazing testimony is there from what the Rhapsody of Realities is doing worldwide, Pastor Mwape. Yes, absolutely. And you know, you can also share your testimony yes. and it will be featured on this program and also in the Rhapsody of Realities devotional. Yes, it's very important that we hear from you because your testimony will inspire someone. And of course, we'll not end the program today without going through our Bible reading plan. And for those of you that are following the one-year Bible reading plan, today we are in the book of Luke, chapter number 9, from verse 1 to verse 17, as well as the book of Joshua, chapters 10 to 12. And for the two-year Bible reading plan, we are reading the scriptures from Matthew, chapter number 26, from verses 69 to 75, and also Leviticus, chapter number 1. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a remarkable program we've had today. And we are so, so, so thankful that you tuned in. And remember the challenge that we opened this program with. April is a month in which you have to make up your mind to act on the word of God that you have received. Remember, this is the fourth month of this great year of favor. Don't allow those resolutions. Don't allow those plans that you wrote out for this year to remain in that book. Don't also... Take each day of the daily devotional program, the Rhapsody of Realities, to be another day of just listening out to the Word of God. It's a time and an expedition of acting on the Word of God throughout this month and the rest of the year. And so, from Pastor Mape and I, would like to say, keep, keep reading, reading your Rhapsody, Rhapsody of, of Realities. Realities. God, God bless you. you. Bye. Bye.